Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're here for the first time. And today, as you've seen, we are sliding all the way with our Pro AM 12 feet dolly. Before we get into the Pro AM dolly, let me quickly um, show you what's up for grab this week. Well, maybe this month this guy the black magic pocket 6k 4k and 6k um, power um, batteries from newer power grip power grip batteries from newer let me see if we, let me get it on screen it comes with the battery pack and the batteries itself the LP batteries which are which are used for the 4K and 6K cameras, they are already inside, it comes with it. All you have to do is just charge your batteries and power away. All right, so this is up for somebody. If you're new to this channel, we are giving away 49 items. Um, we already have a winner for the K and F wireless and it's going to Bridget, I think. And you deserve this because um, Number one, you, you subscribe to the channel. Number two, there was no challenger, okay? Only you specified that you want this device and so you get it. Now, let me tell you something. Don't fail to show your interest in, in other items because um, if nobody else shows the interest on that item, you could win a second item. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, so. If you do find anything else that you like while we proceed on the channel, um, don't fail to indicate that you are interested as well. And then I'll, you know, check and balance. If it happens that you don't have a challenger once again, you will get it, okay? <laughs> all right, all you need to do to win this one, the Black Magic, of course, you, you have to show proof that you have the Black Magic 4K or 6K and um, indicate your interest in the comments below. All right, that's it, simple. And then I'll pick from the number of people we have in two weeks. The Pro M 12 feet dolly comes in two packs. What I did was took the 
split the rods into um, four components and when I got to location I just uh, put them up within two minutes or less I was able to set up the entire thing in fact um, after I got all the items to the to the location spot I was able to set them up in about two minutes so um, it's not really a biggie um, that's the poles and the tri and the triangle um, roller which I didn't break down I just left as it as it was so it was easy to just set it up um, I have this King Joe tripod now I have better tripods but the one that has the fit, right feet for this dolly um, it turned out to be the King Joe and it, it's it's a good I mean it's good enough uh, for such purposes rated at 22 pounds um, which is perfect like you know um, perfect for the also I know my my rig setup was about um, 17 points um, less than 18 pounds and so I, I had to give it a go so and when I put it on the tripod I think everything it took the it took the weight quite all right um, but one thing to note is that when you push on the same tripod to roll your stuff um, you know it might not be because you're walking at the same time you might not get the smoothest experience you know I wasn't very pleased initially but to get the best experience um, number one um, I think the lower the tripod the better the sturdiness um, yeah, so but I went all the way and I got another tripod and I went just for the um, flute head. That's all I wanted. I didn't want to get the flute head from any of my present ones because I always need them with their sticks. Um, so I just went for this flute head and got it off, put mounted on the roller directly and it was low. And I knew that was all I needed for, um, for day one of the car commercial, car repair shop. Another thing that helped me get a smooth result was that I used the pole, which of course was a C-stand pole, and I was able to, um, the base has a ring like this, where you could, you know, attach um, uh, the pole, and I was able to move it, you know, at a constant pace, on like using my hands on the camera. So I think hands on the camera or tripod may not be the best result. I, I wanted to just have a, um, I'll get all my sliding shots for that day and know that you know it is done. I was using the um, Arsa 12K of course and um, uh, Samyang um, 14 uh, millimeters um, F 2.8 I, I think and um, yeah wide I, I mean, I just uh, wanted to use that because I didn't want to, you know, bother about um, autofocus and, you know, keeping anything in focus. So another tip will be to, to use um, at least 60 frames per second. I think 120 may be too slow, but um, 60 um, was a sweet spot for me. 12 feet is really not that long. If you use it in real time, it's done. It's like done, you know. It makes it look like it's some really long professional totally kind of. So add slow motion and then get a steady base to push without having your own contact with the camera, like I did, and you probably get the result that you need. For those of you who don't know, I'm shooting my movie very soon, and I'm trying to go get everything I need and. Um, budget is I, I have to be smart with the budget there are better stuff that can do the same thing but um, I'm not trying to go in that route I'm trying to go to the get the same crisp results you know without the Hollywood you know budget um, this is my first and this is my first indie uh, produced uh, movie and uh, it's going to be an indie self-sponsored um, self-financed by self, I mean family and friends, you know, 
everybody who's ready to support. The bottom line is, I got to be wise about the budget. And that's why we'll talk about some sliders as well um, on the channel because um, I will have to review them and test and see if it satisfies my needs. But for this one at 360 or 390, they're about, I think I'm cool because the alternatives will be in the two to three thousands. Well, those are still cheap. I'm going with this for now, and I think uh, it could do it would do most of the job for me. Um, gimbal, uh, I can use a slider and a gimbal, um, you know, to cover up, you know, points when I don't need this. So, but. Uh, so in my experience, this um, this thing works. Or oh, you let me know what you think about the results um, shown in this video. Don't forget to win this stuff. You will have to indicate your interest and have some proof either on your channel or some maybe like on Instagram. And then as well, you indicate your interest in this device then I will put you in the list. And if you're the only one, you got it, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, that's how you get it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.